Deuteronomy chapter 7. Summary. Moses teaches the Israelites how to relate to the surrounding nations. Memory verses, verses 7 and 8. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any of the peoples. For you were the fewest of all peoples. But because the Lord loved you, and kept the oath which he swore to your forefathers, the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of slaves, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Also memorize chapter 7, verse 22. And the Lord your God will clear away these nations before you, little by little. You will not be able to put an end to them quickly, for the beasts of the field would grow too numerous for you. Chapter 7, Translation When the Lord your God brings you into the land where you are going to possess it and clears away many nations before you, the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and stronger than you, and when the Lord your God delivers them before you and you strike them, then you will utterly destroy them. You will make no covenant with them and show no favor to them. Nor will you make marriages with them. You will not give your daughter to his son, nor will you take his daughter for your son. For he will turn your son away from following me to serve other gods. And the anger of the Lord will be kindled against you and he will destroy you suddenly. But thus... You shall do to them. You shall tear down their altars and smash their pillars and hew down their groves and burn their engraved images with fire. For you are a holy people to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for himself, a treasured possession out of all the peoples who are on the face of the ground. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number than any of the peoples. For you were the fewest of all peoples. But because the Lord loved you and kept the oath which he swore to your forefathers, the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of slaves, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know, therefore, that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and loving kindness with those who love him and keep his commandments to the thousandth generation, and repays those who hate him to each face to destroy him. He will not delay with him who hates him. He will repay him to his face. Therefore, you will keep the commandment and the statutes and the judgments which I am commanding you today to do them. And it will come about because you listen to these judgments and keep and do them, that the Lord your God will keep with you the covenant and the loving kindness which he swore to your forefathers. And he will love you and bless you and multiply you. He will also bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your ground, your grain and your new wine and your oil, the increase of your herd and the young of your flock, on the ground which he swore to your forefathers to give you. You will be blessed above all peoples. There will be no male or female barren among you or among your cattle. And the Lord will remove from you all sickness, and he will not put on you any of the harmful diseases of Egypt which you have known, but he will lay them upon all who hate you and you will consume all the peoples whom the Lord your God will deliver to you. Your eye will not pity them, nor will you serve their gods, for that would be a snare to you. If you should say in your heart, These nations are greater than I, how can I dispossess them? You will not be afraid of them. You will well remember what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to all Egypt the great trials which your eyes saw, and the signs and the wonders and the mighty hand and the outstretched arm by which the Lord your God brought you out, 
so shall the Lord your God do to all the peoples of whom you are afraid. Moreover, the Lord your God will send the hornet against them until those who are left and hide themselves from you are destroyed. You will not be afraid before their faces, for the Lord your God is in your midst, a great and awesome God. And the Lord your God will clear away these nations before you little by little. You will not be able to put an end to them quickly, for the beasts of the field would grow too numerous for you. But the Lord your God will deliver them before you and will confuse them with great confusion until they are destroyed. And he will deliver their kings into your hand, and you will make their name perish from under heaven. No man will be able to stand before you until you have destroyed them. The carved images of their gods you will burn with fire. You will not covet the silver or the gold that is on them, nor take it for yourselves, or you will be snared by it, for it is an abomination to the Lord your God. And you will not bring an abomination into your house, and like it come under the ban. You will utterly detest it, and you will utterly abhor it, for it is something banned.